What general advice do you have for first year law students? The main advice I have for first year law students is to recognize that you can only do the best you can do and you can only live reasonably. And so to combine that, if you do your reasonable best and if you say it the wrong way, it might sound patronizing because it's like, well, yeah, you want to do your best and you always want to do better. But all you have at the moment, all you have at exam time is the best you can do. And so if you can be content with that and if you can realize that, you know, no matter where you land relative to the other students, let's say in a, in a, in a graded, in a curved course, then you'll feel like you've learned a lot in law school. You're going to succeed and most likely uh, pass the bar exam and be a lawyer and not have that stress lead into this sense of, of either anxiety or failure or, or things that would um, lead you down a, an unhealthy path. So if you do your reasonable best, then um, you'll have an enjoyable law school experience. Uh, my general advice for incoming students is to remember all of your self-care uh, practices that you've established prior to law school. Law school is going to be a lot of work, but it's sustainable if you remember all of the ways that you can keep your mind mentally clear and sane, whether that's exercise, eating healthy, spending some time with friends and family on the weekends, uh, taking your dog for a walk or cuddling your cat, whatever your mental self-care is, remember to do that in law school. You want to be able to put in the hard work for school, but also to be able to recharge in those moments in order to make that hard work sustainable. One, maintain some non-legal friendship or group of friends. I have a sacred time of my week, even if it's just an hour during finals week, which is gonna, might sound difficult in the moment. I think it's so important to maintain friends that are not related to legal things or law school and to not talk about legal things or law school for some sacred period of time. It's, it's going to feel like when things get difficult, like law school is trying to suck in your life. Don't just make sure that you have some sacred time that it will help you maintain your sanity. That, and I guess this ties into like the, the other main thing I always say is prioritize yourself and your mental health at all times. Um, no, Law school, you're going to feel so uh, proud of yourself and accomplished when you're on the other end of it, um, regardless of what happens, because it's an, it's an amazing accomplishment. But don't let any class, professor, or grade take priority over where you place your own mental health in your own mind. You have to have a little bit of faith in yourself. Um, there are going to be many times during your first year and even into your second and third year where you're going to begin to doubt what you're capable of, you might not get the grade you wanted or a position that you applied for, and it's going to sting pretty badly, but you just have to trust that you um, got to law school for a reason and that you're capable of doing those things. And it sounds cliche, but it is really true. Um, I would also say that just be prepared to expect the unexpected. Um, obviously, law school presents a ton of unique challenges that you can never fully prepare for. So as long as you have a great network set up and resources and your health is in check and friends, things are going to be okay. I would say that any mistakes you make or any feedback you receive, uh, if it's constructive, that is a gift to you. And you will mess up at times and you might feel like you don't know what's going on or that you're not prepared or that you don't belong here. But all of it is a learning experience, and if you take those setbacks in stride and you really get some value out of that, then it's going to prepare you really well for your career, for future years of law school, and just having that positive attitude will make a huge difference in how you perceive your first year and how it ends up.